All right, y'all, so moving on to the kettlebell swing. Now, this is by far the most popular kettlebell exercise simply because the way the kettlebell is set up, it's very, very uh, ergonomic for this particular exercise as opposed to if you were gonna try to do the swing with a dumbbell or something else. So, with the foundation that was built with the kettlebell deadlift, the swing is simply an evolution of that exercise. And it's actually going to be different in the sense that this is a power and ballistic exercise that's gonna be performed quickly, whereas the deadlift is performed heavy and slow, the swing is lighter and faster. All right, so we're gonna go through the same three steps, ready, aim, fire, for the kettlebell swing. The setup is going to be similar to the deadlift, but fundamentally different in that you're going to be standing behind the weight as opposed to straight up over top of it. So this is your setup. You're gonna grasp the bell and cock it back. And apart from that, your actual uh, anatomical setup is very, very similar. In the sense that you've got shoulders, then a couple inches down are the hips, and a couple inches further down are the line of the knees. The eyes are straight, the back is nice and flat. So that is ready. Now to aim, again, it's very, very similar to the deadlift. Claire is going to pack her lats down, getting her shoulders away from her ears, getting tension through the hamstrings by sliding the hips up and back, and then she's going to be ready to actually perform the swing. Very good. And then of course she ends exactly how she started. So for the execution of the swing, from that setup position, it's a strong hike pass with the bell up behind you, and then the execution of the hips, again, is fundamentally similar to the deadlift, only it's done very, very quickly. The only other points that really uh, need to be made with the swing are quite simply that you want to keep the arms straight but loose. You don't actually want to engage the shoulders to the point where you're front raising the bell. And then of course, you also want to make sure that you get full hip extension at the top. So that the knees, hips are locked, back is up straight, and you want to think crown of the head up to the sky. After you do that, it's as simple as guiding the bell back down in between the legs with that pendulum motion, loading up into the ready or aim idea, and then fire. So it's momentary relaxation, loading, and then firing.